Hello, I'm Alan Mitatase, one of wheelchair basketball's national coaches. In order for you to play wheelchair basketball, you gotta have a physical disability with a lower limb impairment. Classification is used to determine the class of your disability. In layman terms, paraplegics will fall in the class one to two. Polio from three to three and a half. Amputees from four to four and a half. From a team of five players to take court, their classification should not exceed 14 points. That differentiate wheelchair basketball to running basketball. Example of myself, I'm a typical one and a half because of the polio through my hips, my left arm, and I only got like more mobility from my waist upwards. A typical example for my balancing, I'm sitting in a much deeper chair for me to have balance, unlike my friends Ziggy and Jack. How are you viewers? My name is Tawana Luther Ziki. I'm an international Zimbabwean Uche basketball player. Classified as a 3.5. The reason being, uh, I'm uh, below knee, amputated, and a hand uh, deformity, which differs from, from my, one of my colleagues, Jake, who is a 4.5. We share the same, uh, um, we share the same uh, features like my, my upper body strength, even my, my, my chair sitting position is almost the same, but because of the, the hand, hand deformity, it, it differs, hence it was classified as a 3.5. Hi, I'm Jack Mokosi, a wheelchair basketball national team player. Uh, I'm a 4.5 classified player. As you can see, that I uh, only have uh, below the knee amputee and I have complete balance on my chair, unlike uh, the low, low class uh, classified players. Hence, uh, you see my chair is more of a level, straight, and uh, the backrest is a bit lower, and that's why I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. Uh, wheelchair basketball and able-bodied basketball is exactly the same. The only difference is we match quicker.